Over the years, women have forged their path in the field of sports. Contrary to many beliefs, before the passage of Title IX in 1972, women were involved in athletics. It might not have been easy, but they forged a path for many women to follow. There were female athletes here at Detroit Junior College, a precursor to Wayne State University, who were involved in sports and served as trailblazers. Notably, Margaret Woodbridge, who in 1920 swam a leg of the women's 400 freestyle relay that won a gold medal at the Belgium Olympics. In the 1940s, women had an opportunity to enter the workforce since there was a shortage of workers with the men fighting in the war. Not only were more women working, there were more women participating and competing in sports. This included Wayne State student Paula K. Sweeney. She was a member of the men's Wayne State fencing team from 1941 to 1943. Paula was the women's fencing champion of Michigan from 1941 to 1962 and the U.S. national champion in 1953. She was Wayne State's first female Athletics Hall of Fame inductee. When the men returned home from the war, sports once again became exclusively for men. As a result, fewer women participated in sports in the 1950s and 1960s. Doctors were influential in determining what sports were appropriate for women so they would not jeopardize their femininity or fertility. Since the focus was on socialization and recreation rather than competition, women organized playdates. Wayne State Women's Recreation Association formed under these premises in 1950s. At this time, these activities were acceptable and deemed appropriate. In the late 1960s, Sports leaders emerged from women physical educators who wanted to provide their talented female student athletes with the opportunity to play on a team and compete against other schools. This took place on Wayne State's campus when female physical educator professors organized a variety of varsity-like teams. The women bought their own uniforms and traveled in their own vehicles to play schools such as University of Michigan and Eastern Michigan University. However, since they were not part of the athletic department, there was no one to record and archive their statistics or take care of their injuries. During this time, women were not given equal opportunity to pursue sports on campus. As a result, two Wayne State students pursued sports on their own. Cynthia Goyette swam the backstroke on the gold medal winning 400 medley relay team at the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo and Jeannie O'Melanchuk was a three-time Olympic speed skater at the 1960, 1968, and 1972 Winter Olympics. She also held 14 national speed skating titles, more than any in the history of the sport. Eventually, both of these two women would be inducted in the Wayne State Athletics Hall of Fame. In the 1970s, women began to criticize the exclusion of girls and women in sports, as well as acknowledge the inadequacies that women faced when they did not have the opportunity to participate in sports. In response, women sports leaders formed the Association of Intercollegiate Athletics for Women, AIAW, in 1971. The NCAA only governed men's sports and the AIAW now provided an opportunity for women's sports governance, including championships. Finally, in 1972, Congress passes Title IX, changing education and revolutionizing sports, making discrimination based on sex illegal. Here at Wayne State, head men's swimming and diving coach, Peter Roberts, recruited a female student to dive on the men's team. Her name was Dacha Skileru. She was the first woman in the nation to qualify and compete in an NCAA championship event, the one meter and three meter diving events. 
Dacia finished 13th out of 50 male participants in the three meter dive, missing all American status by one place. An athletic hall of fame inductee, she received her bachelor's, master's and medical degrees from Wayne State University. I had a uh, diver, her name was Dacia Scaleru, uh, a Romanian immigrant. And I noticed at one of the recreation swims, I noticed this young girl um, bouncing on the board and she just, just was a natural. I said, I said to her, hey, would you be interested in diving? She became a very good diver. And of course, we didn't have a woman's team at that time. So I asked the meet committee if she could dive in the meet. And uh, they said, sure, why not? And that, that action actually became a defining moment in the NC2A history. The number 25 defining moment is they allowed a woman to participate in an NC2A championships. <laughs> Somehow she passed away and so so we lost a very fine athlete. I have to stop. <laughs> As a result from Title IX, across the country, the number of women's sports teams skyrocketed from 2.5 in 1973 to 6.5 in 1979. The Wayne State Athletics Department followed suit, sponsoring six varsity teams for women in 1974 and 1975. The teams were volleyball, basketball, field hockey, tennis, fencing, and softball. The Tartar Volleyball team won three consecutive GLIAC titles in 1979, 1980, and 1981. It was still AIAW when I was here. It hadn't gone to NCAA yet. And I mean, I, I know back then you could go to the local high schools and recruit, but you didn't, I mean, you did not have to go through all the recruiting process that we do now. So, I mean, it's, it's just come so far in 20 years or 30 years at the most. It's, it's come so far because television, would, you wouldn't even think of it back then that you were going to be on TV at all. I mean, you, you might tape a game and then you'd go in and watch it on a TV, <laughs> but that'd be about as, much, as close as you would get to anything on TV. I mean, it, it, it's just women's sports tremendously. They've grown. It's, it's unbelievable how far women's sports have come. In 1982, the NCAA membership voted to include women, which meant there was no longer a need for the AIAW, and thus they closed their doors. For Wayne State, this resulted in many firsts for women within the NCAA. In 1982, Wayne State women fencing team became NCAA national champions and followed up with additional national championships in 1988 and 1989. In that same year, women's swimming and diving began here at Wayne State University. In 1983, the second year for the NCAA to host a championship for women, softball competed in its first NCAA tournament. Also that same year, current assistant softball coach Pat Kent became Wayne State's first softball All-American. Led by Gary Bryce, the all-time winningest coach in Division II, and 2016 National Assistant Coach of the Year, Pat Kent, softball made its first World Series appearance in 2003 and repeated this feat in 2010 and 2014. Four-time GLIAC Softball Player of the Year, Lindsay Butler, was named National Player of the Year in 2016. Women's basketball participated in its first NCAA tournament in 2003 under the leadership of head coach Carrie Lohr and assistant coach Karen Lafada, women's basketball would win their first two NCAA tournament games, advancing to the Sweet 16 in 2013 for the first time in program history and repeating in 2014. In 2015, women's basketball center Sharita Brown was named the NCAA Division II National Player of the Year. Starting in 2003, the women's swimming and diving program began their dominance under the leadership of 10-time GLIAC Women's Swimming Coach of the Year, Sean Peters, Assistant Coach Bryce Petters, and four-time National Diving Coach of the Year, Kelly LaCroix, winning 11 GLIAC titles and the national championship in 2012. 
Hall of Fame inductee Ashley St. Andrew became the first female swimming national champion in 2009. It's such an amazing time at Wayne State. Um, I actually came to my recruiting trip on a whim and just the atmosphere, the team atmosphere, um, the school, everything, I just saw something I had to be a part of. And I mean, Rob, the athletic department, they've always been so supportive of me. Um, Obviously getting this honor, they've been supportive and giving me this. Still very unbelievable, but um, very exciting. I'm extremely happy and honored that I am doing this today. Carly Savald was named 2012 NCAA Diver of the Year, and Paige Cortman was voted 2013 NCAA Diver of the Year. All-time winningest women's tennis coach in program history, Sheila Snyder, led the 2005 team to the program's first NCAA tournament appearance. And in 2013-2014, the tennis team advanced to the Sweet 16. In a span of five years, the tennis program had three GLIAC Players of the Year, Hall of Fame inductee Sharon Gill in 2010, Christina Gorinskaya in 2011, and Andrea Matrake in 2015. Anna Garina was the first Wayne State female fencer to be a three-time NCAA champion and the first woman epiest in NCAA history to win three national titles in 2004, 2005, and 2007. From 2006 through 2008, Rochelle Malette Christensen became the first cross-country runner in school history to earn All-American honors three times and was a two-time regional champion. Six years later, the cross-country team had the best NCAA finish in program history, finishing sixth in the nation. One of the youngest sports at Wayne State, women's indoor and outdoor track and field, started during the 2012-2013 school year and has already produced two All-Americans. Jen Rock became the first outdoor track and field All-American in the 10,000 meter race in 2014. And Carrington Seals became the first indoor track and field All-American in the 60 meter hurdles in 2016 and repeated in 2017 and 2018. The most recent addition to women's varsity sport programs at Wayne State was women's golf in 2014. The program is under the direction of former Division I golf student athlete, Coach Meredith Weaver. The foundation of the athletic department rests on athletic success, academic excellence, and community service. These three pillars have provided an opportunity for student athletes to fully embrace their college experience and embody the NCAA Division II motto, make it yours. Warrior student athletes have volunteered over 60,000 community service hours in the last six years. The current graduation rate for the department is 83% with a 3.3 cumulative grade point average for all student athletes. In the 100 year history of athletics at Wayne State University, women's athletics specifically has a rich history with tremendous success in their 43 years. Current student athletes stand on the shoulders of those who have come before them, and we cannot wait to see what warrior women do next.